So we know the magnets are two different types, artificial and natural. Natural magnets are very difficult to find and they are not as magnetic as because they have impurities. So artificially we can make magnet. How we can make a magnet? What is the raw material that you need to make a magnet? We can make an iron piece into a magnet. If you have an iron piece, if you have a rectangular iron piece with you, you have a rectangular iron strip or iron bar you have. So now you are going to make this iron piece or iron bar as a magnet. To do this, you need to have a magnet. So you have a magnet, a bar magnet. So this is your iron piece. You have taken your bar magnet and you are keeping your bar magnet on this surface and you are dragging it here in this way. You are dragging it all the way. You are not lifting, just you are touching the magnet to the iron piece and you are dragging. And again you are lifting the magnet up. When you, once you reach the end, you are lifting it. Again you are touching the magnet here to the iron strip and you are dragging. Just you are dragging. You are touching to the magnetic strip and dragging. Once you reach the end, you are lifting the magnet again. If you do this for 30 to 40 times, if you do this for 30 to 40 times, this iron strip becomes a magnet. But here, you have to do the procedure correctly. That means, you have to take a bar magnet, touch the bar magnet, one pole of the bar magnet, not the complete bar magnet, only one pole. You have to touch it to the strip here, drag it all its length, lift it again and do that again. Repeat it for 30 to 40 times. And do not change the pole in between. First time north pole, second time south pole, if you do so, it does not work. Which pole you are selecting the same pole and the same direction 30 to 40 times. If you repeat the process, you can find this iron strip is turned to a magnet. You can test it, put some pins, metal pins, they will be attracted to this. So it is confirmed that you made the iron bar into a magnet. You can make a pin or a safety pin or a clip into a magnet with the same experiment. Now you can take the pin and fix it to a cork. So this is the pin which you have magnetized and you kept this pin to the cork and you can keep the cork in a mug of water. This is the water. So what happens here? The cork it floats in the water. So by the, the needle it freely rotates and it will show you the north and south directions. You can use that cork as a magnetic compass. It will show the directions. Right. So by this method, you can turn a pin, a nail, any iron object, a screwdriver into a magnet. That means that is by rubbing with a magnet from one end to another end in the same direction for a number of times, you can make an iron piece into a magnet. How? That is by rubbing, rubbing with a magnet, we can make an iron piece into a magnet. This is how we can make your own magnet. So attraction and repulsion between the magnets. So far we discussed that the magnets get attract, attracted to the magnetic material or two magnets they get attracted to them. But here we are going to learn a new concept that the poles of the magnet they play a major role in deciding whether the magnet is going to attract or get repulsed. Repulsions are also seen in magnets. Let us see how. This is a bar magnet with its north pole here, south pole here. This is one more bar magnet. This is south pole here, north pole here. Right. We have taken one more setup, two bar magnets, two more bar magnets with the north pole, south pole, north pole, south pole. Here, let us see. If I bring these two bar magnets close, they will repulse because opposite poles always attract, like poles always repulse. These two are the like poles, south and south, they will repulse. 
if you bring both the magnets closely they will go away from each other because here also the here the south end here are the south end both are like poles so like poles they will repels whereas in this case here we have the south pole and north pole when you bring two magnets with dislike poles they will get attracted dislike poles this is north and this is south so when you bring them close they will get attracted right so magnets they have attraction as well as repulsion depending upon the poles you can play with this you can take one toy car you can take a toy car like this and you can fix a magnet on its top with north pole south pole in the same way you can take one more toy car so on the top of it you can take like this south south if you bring this car this is car a car b if you bring this car a close to b the b will go away automatically so if you are moving this car a behind car b without any power without any push the car b will b will be moving in this direction how because of the magnetic push because the south pole of this magnet it is pushing the south pole of this magnet so by that along with the magnet the car is pushed if you change just change the position of the magnet if you bring the north here north pole here and south pole here what happens if you bring this car close to that the car will come back and you get attached to this as you are taking this car a back car b also come back because it is attracted by the south pole so here one fact that we have to remember that is like poles will repels repulsions are seen repels like poles repels dislike poles dislike poles attract attract so that is the most important property of a magnet which you have to remember which is helpful in your higher classes that is that like poles repels and dislike poles of a magnet get attracted so we have seen the benefits of magnets the advantages of magnets they are used at various places there are so many applications of magnets but still we can find certain caution with a magnet so what is that caution magnets they should be kept away from certain items like cassettes so anyway now it is we are not using the magnetic tapes to record the audio and video in earlier days in olden days they used to have magnetic tape recorders and players so like this they used to have a cassette for a tape recorder so magnetic tape on which the audio is recorded the video is also recorded on a magnetic tape cassette so vhs system and in the vhs system you used to have a cassette like this so nowadays we are using cds anyway the cds are also sometimes damaged by the magnets so the magnets ought to be kept away from the cd roms or dvds or hard disks so this magnetic field may interfere with the data that is stored in the objects like your pen drives or memory chips or whatsoever cds and dvds and sometimes if big magnets are brought close to the televisions which are used the tubes so such kind of televisions the picture used to be get disturbed right so it may damage the electronic certain electronic items so that is the caution with the magnets if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus